Hi Ladybug Bugs. This is I think the third time now I'm trying this tutorial because the previous times I've keep cutting it wrong. Can you believe it? I think it's a uh, um, quarantine, the lockdown. Okay, so we are going to make this little concertina box that I showed you on another video. So this is a little one. I mean, you can do any size you want. This one I have put magnets here and in here. I don't know if you can see that. But on this one, I'm not going to use magnets. I'm going to use string because this one I'm going to do in more of an industrial style rather than the pretty, pretty one. So as you can see, I have already gathered <clears throat> some papers that I can use. So this paper I dyed and I put some black on it. I thought it looked quite nice. And of course, just, you know, the usual, the odd bits and pieces. I've got this. I think this is from Tracy Fox. I don't not written on the bottom. I bought that from, I think it's Tracy Fox. I either buy from her, my porch prints. <laughs> um, then, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside and uh, we will come to it later. And I am going to move my huge big cutter here. And I do have the measurements. And I think this is also like the third time <laughs> I'm writing the measurements as well. Okay, now the length of this particular one is 11 and a half and the width is four and a half. So let me just get that out the way. Uh, what did I say? Four and a half. Let's see if I can touch this nice and straight by 11, oops, 11 and a half. Right, put that aside in the dustbin, that one. And then I might as well cut it now. What did I do that piece of paper? The concertina, so it's, I'm just grabbing some odd pieces that I have. Now this is for the concertina and this I am gonna cut three and a half by so let's cut it I'm gonna need two of these three and a half by three and three eighths where is it three and three eighths I'm going crazy here again can't believe this so you're gonna cut it yes three and a half by yeah three and three eighths just a little bit over that. So that's all you need, the piece for the concertina there. Okay, and you need two of these obviously for either side. So let's just put that aside. Hang on a sec. Let's bring that back in the picture. Okay, so you've got your two pieces here. Now you're going to need a scoreboard. And okay, we can start with the concertina first. It's so easy. The concertina on the length weighs, um, yeah, that way, which is three and a half. All you're going to do is score at every half inch. Like so. So that is for your concertina. And I just like to make sure it's well done, well scored. And then of course, all you're gonna do is start folding your concertina like so. And you just carry on. Like making a little fan. And there, and the last one. And just give it a score to hold it and make it a bit more flexible. 
And then you can go ahead and distress it if you want to. Uh, even this one I have distressed as well, but you know, it's up to you, distress or not. As you can see, I've already prepped one. Now you've got your lengths. Let's bring the scoreboard back. And here, the score, you're going to score at three and a half. Yes. And you're only going to leave half an inch because this is a little box. So three and a half, four, seven and a half, and at eight. There we go. And let's just do the foldy foldy thing. So you're going to fold and score and use your your bone handle tool to. There we go. How easy is that? Okay, so now you should already be able to see your box forming. Okay, now this one I did trim it slightly. So let's just do it this way. Yeah, that's right. So now I am going to, that should be fine. Actually, let me see. I think it's the other way around. Yes. <laughs> okay. So there you have that. And I think I am going to just take off maybe a little bit there. I mean, you can make this as long as you want or as short as you want. But I'm just going to take off a little bit. So what do we got here? That's three and a half. And if I take off, yeah, that'll do. Oops, so that's your top flap. I'm rounding my corners. Here we go. And there you have your little box all ready to go. And I have one that I have already distressed. And I'm going to do a little bit of work on it. Now, also, if you want to use a magnet, now is the time to put your magnet on. So you would put one here, and then you would put another one here. Okay. So that it folds like so. You can see this flap is longer than this one. Again, it's just preference. Or you can also use um, a punch. You know, one of those border punches like this. I'm not going to do it on here because it's more industrial, but you can also do a border punch on your flap there. So many possibilities. So now take your um, concertina, make sure it lines up. Sometimes you might have to trim it. That's what I've had to do a couple of times because don't quite cut it right. So let's glue that. On this side, so let's put it up from there. See how easy it is to do a concertina? Not difficult. Just work out your measurements any way you want. Now I'm not going to glue that yet to the back because I want to decorate it first. But just to show you. There it is, and then we will glue that side, obviously, to there. So I'm going to put on the other one quickly. Uh, which way did I do it? This way. Doesn't really matter. You can glue it that way. You can glue it this way. It really, it doesn't matter. It has the same effect. So let's put some glue. 
same thing line it up to the edge there yep perfect you can use tape as well just matter of preference and there we go and there is the beginnings of your box now of course how you um there we go <laughs> it's really cute <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna play around a bit now with what i have here to turn it into an industrial and i am going to use string i'm going to do it very simply on the back to close it in fact I'm just seeing if my heat gun is up what color shall i use Let's use this one. I'm going to stick it down right now. So really, let me just show you. Like so. And it doesn't have to be a big one. And that should be fine because... It's just a different way of making it, you know. And then I'm going to cut this again in half. Do the glue gun. Is that sort of in the middle? It is. And then my paper obviously is going to go on top. I hope that's sort of lined up. Oops. Yes. Let's have a look in the front. more thumbs today yeah that should be fine I'm just gonna put a little bit more but I mean obviously we're not gonna tug on this and I love the glue guns because you know they dry so fast especially on something when you're attaching bits and pieces now on this one before I start the embellishing I just put a whole lot of cards and tags inside I've made a little envelope and put it inside I made these tags on my maker etc etc this is part of a maybe I'll link the video for this oops so you can see it so before I join the rest I suppose we can even work on the inside this is some where I wonder if I should do not really, yeah, you are going to see that. I'm just deciding. Well, let's just put that here. I'm just going to kind of do a background um, pencil. Pencil. Like so. like so and that should do it and I'm actually gonna just tear it where's my ruler more or less doesn't have to be perfectly straight I like it I think I need to tear it a bit more here Just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's fine. <clears throat> I'm just going to carry on doing this now.
So here is now the finished, I don't know what you're going to call this, almost finished um, tutorial on the concertina box. As you can see it's industrial, which I just love. These are all cutouts. Let me show you the back. <clears throat> Very simple to do, you know the um, montaging. And I also put some on here. And on here, it's also cutouts there. 
in here, just very simple. And something for the, <clears throat> excuse me, what you might call it. Right, now all, all I'm going to show you to do, I mean, I'm, I probably don't even really need to show you, but let's just do it, is just to glue these babies in place. And then you have your little concertina pox that you can keep. Did I say pox? <laughs> I think I did say pox. <laughs> Okay, you have your little concertina box. Oopsie. Come on now, don't be stubborn. And just glue it in place, line up your edges. Uh, where is my embossing tool? I tidied everything because I'm about to start a new project, another tutorial for you guys. Okay, I can't find it. But I would also, you know, just go and boss. So I do one side and then I do the other. So you can make this pretty or you can make this industrial. You can make it any size you want. Now that you've got the, you know, basic con concept of how to do it. It's just cuteness incorporated. And my next tutorial is going to take a couple of days because I've got figuring out to do. But I hope you'll love it. I hope I'll love it when it's finished. <laughs> okay, line it up, turn it over, line it up. There we go. On that, yeah, we go. I found it. Look, my, my tool holder was on the wrong side. That's why I couldn't find it belongs on my right and there it is let's just press this down and like I said you can use tape my preference is always for glue and there you have your little concertina and uh, I suppose you could make two sections too but no nah, I like it the way it is and then you can just pop whatever you want in there and you know what this also makes another a nice little gift box you can make it wider if you want to add like chocolates or something. Or as I said, for little journal cards, ephemera. And there it is. Cuteness Incorporated. Guys, thank you for watching and I will be back soon. Ciao now.